My name is Katie. I'm Blaze, and we're going to Ireland. We're very excited because we're going to do something called ecotourism, which is a style of travel we've never done before. Right. Ecotourism is traveling environmentally friendly without compromising the experience of your trip. So Ireland is supposed to be one of the best places to do this, uh, so we're excited. Almost done packing, and yeah, let's get out of here. Let's go. Finlock is a, a retreat for all intents and purposes for weary minds and bodies to come and enjoy nature in the purest sense, but also enjoy the highest quality of food, the highest quality of accommodation. The domes offer you the opportunity to get as close to nature as you can while still maintaining a comfortable, luxurious room. Um, so for those people who love the idea of camping but hate the thought of actually getting down and dirty, it's perfect. The first thing you see when you wake up in the morning is that far escape. The first thing you hear is the birds. Um, you know, at night you can lie and still be warm and cozy and take the time to look at the stars. You know, we don't often get the opportunity to do that. And I think that's part and parcel of the experience that you, you have time to sit and reflect and think. And it's as much about that as it is about the nature. The full glass fronted lakeside sauna was to really just, again, marry the outside and the inside together. We have pedal kayaks, so it allows guests to get out on the water and you can enjoy, you know, a lovely fire pit as the sun sets over the water. A really nice bottle of wine with some really great food. The entire experience is really, ba the backdrop of it is, is the lake and the mountains across the water. We're here at Gregan's Castle Hotel. We're in this beautiful area called the Burren. It's an absolutely unique uh, geological area in the world. It's a limestone rock area. It's a geological park. It dates from millions of years ago, so the limestone was laid down under the seabed and then carved out by glaciers. Absolutely every room is decorated differently, so there are no two rooms that look the same in any way. You know, they're all different shapes and sizes. What do you think this room is gonna look like? Um, I don't know, it's supposed to be the kitchen, or was the kitchen. Oh, this what? is so cool! I think this used to be the fireplace. It's the coat of arms. It's our own private courtyard. Yeah. Our neighbour, uh, Shane Connolly, was the very, very first person to actually offer guided walks on the burn. Town is Maruktuhi, the parish is Ballyvaughan, the kingdom is the burn, the county is Clare, the province is Munster, all of this Canada, down there's Morocco. You guys know, yeah. have, have more <laughs> players than we do in the States. <laughs> ah yeah, zip codes. We don't waste our time with that nonsense. Um, <laughs> give me the wild goats. The water supply to the hotel comes from a natural spring on the mountain behind us. The electricity is generated from the windmills. Very accessible as well because it's right in the midwest of Ireland. It's sort of a halfway point on the Wild Atlantic Way driving route. So we have the Ring of Kerry to our south and we have Connemara to the north. So it's uh, so we're very, very lucky. Um, and we have also the Cliffs of Moher, which are the second biggest tourist attraction in Ireland on our doorstep. Really, the, the cookery school here and what we do at Balmaloo is to pass on the knowledge and skills of cooking and now to a certain extent with farming or any other skill that we feel is going to help with a sustainable life in society. On the very first day they come down here, they plant a lettuce as one of the very first things that they do. It's our way of trying to make our students understand how long it takes to grow food. I firmly believe that the next artisan surge is going to be in small dairies because of what's happening to milk. We start to make cheese, we start to make butter, yogurt, buttermilk, and that's been great. <laughs> what? That's incredible. There's over 20,000 shells in here. This has been an amazing trip. We've gone to some incredible places and we met some people who are really passionate about what they do along the way. I can honestly say Ireland is one of the most green places I've ever traveled. <laughs>